Do we believe at Qualcomm that the future of mobility is necessarily wireless and electric? And I want to just talk to you about some of the technologies and some of the applications that are coming to the vehicle to allow the vehicle to become much more connected. It recognises that there is a change in the magnetic field. Mm -hmm. So the magnetic field should be uniform. Yeah, right. So this creates a change. Uh -huh. So it then says there must be something metal uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. So you can see... That's the sensor. Yeah, so you can see uh -huh. it picks up the metal, yeah. but the, the non-metal objects, uh -huh. it does not pick up. All right. So it's going to take a good photograph of that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I see. Just uh, de detecting the changing of the magnetic, magnetic field. Magnetic fields. All right. And this would, if not, this would get in 6.6. .6, this would get very hot. All uh, right. Not not like this, but in 10 or 15 seconds, this would be too hot to touch. Yeah. Right. But you see, within one or two seconds, it recognizes. Mm -hmm. This system is instant. Yeah. Right. Because you cannot allow a human to uh, right. you know, um, get magnetic fields. Mm -hmm. Once an object is detected, you'll send an SMS or an email to the user to say, metal object, uh -huh. you have to clear it. Uh -huh. With this, as soon as it pulses two or three times a second, mm -hmm. and as soon as there's no people there, it'll start charging again. So if you see it starts not, it's charging, not charging, yeah, and, and then I think this young lady is holding yeah, and then charging. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it, this, is, this is dynamic, this is not. You need to move mm -hmm. the object. Ah, right. Normal, other than a metal object, it's fine. You could have this much snow and no problem. Dirt is no problem. You can, in public highway, if you have public charging, you can bury this under, under concrete. It's no problem at all. It's just a met, metal object cause the problems. Anything non-metallic mm. is no problem at all. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so this is the first part is the alignment. And the alignment's successful. Mm. We can also go far forward. And then you get the area. No. And you can also go back. So you get a big area of offset where you can stop the parking. Uh -huh. You get the full power and uh, maximum efficiency. So there's the park. We'll go right up to this. The pad, we have an alignment system inside the car, which we'll show you shortly, so they know when to stop. You just get out of the car, lock the door, walk away, and the charging process is 100% automatic. You start straight away. There's two safety systems on this vehicle. The first is the foreign object detection. So if a metal object goes onto the base pad, cigarette pack, Coca-Cola can, uh, steel or metal objects, the system will shut down. The driver can get a notification on their cell phone or email, etc. The second one is the living object protection. If a child goes under the car or a human goes under, the human is detected, the system will shut down. The charging will then restart when the person leaves the area. When the car is fully charged, the system automatically shuts down. When you come back to drive away, there's no cables to drive away, just jump in and drive away. The big advantage is obviously no connections to the car, no cables in the garage, and also your battery is always kept at a much higher average state of charge. We found that a lot of people with conventional conductive charging plug in every two or three days, but on the second day, maybe their battery is only 50%.